You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. What's up? This is Mikey, not Michael, with my good friend Johnny99. What's up, Johnny? I am well, Michael. Great to see you. And the Death Star. And the Death Star. And, uh, and Dominic's here. That's right. And young Chadwick Stewart is still in the house. I am back in the house yet again. You cannot get rid of me. I, I, I heard from you guys the way to avoid a hangover is to just stay drunk. Is that true? Apparently. I, and who knew that uh, Jägermeister and cocaine were a bad combination? I don't know. Bad? I didn't know that. It sounds like it equals itself out. You did, would think. Yeah. Did you know that? I went to bed early. <laughs> you went to bed early. Is that is that true? I had the Monster Girls talk me in and give me milk and cookies. Oh. Are you talking milk and cookies? <laughs> they rock me to sleep. Chips Ahoy. Chips nice. Ahoy. So, um, tell us what you're up to, John, because you're because I know you're a big baller and you're you're too cool. And but you're you're giving a few minutes back to the homies. Um, I'm happy to be here at Rock of a Rage. It's a nice escape being in Hollywood. I've been working on a new project, a new bar concept attached to St. Felix in our Hollywood location. Really happy that everything's going well with the St. Felix concept. So, what is? Tell tell everybody where they can find out about the information about St. Felix because not everybody's cool. <laughs> Seriously. Well, St. Felix is a bar restaurant located in the middle of Hollywood. We have two locations in West Hollywood and Hollywood. Stfelix.net. If you're visiting or coming into town, it's great. It's a good place. It doesn't matter who you are. A lot of musicians hang out, a lot of actors, just a lot of people. If you're cool, they come through the door. So we're really happy about that. It's just, it's got style. The staff looks great, but it's like approachable. There's no Hollywood pretension, no velvet rope, but I think we've had a lot of success with that. So I'm really happy about us moving forward with it. I think a lot of that has to be being from Cleveland and having that Midwest background and just applying those those vibes in Hollywood, I think, is appealing to people that, you know, are usually getting that kind of, you know, Hollywood attitude. We don't bring that. We bring the aesthetic without the attitude. So you can you can be a D-lister such as myself, and you can still feel like an A-lister. No, you're not a D-lister. I'm a J-lister. <laughs> the G-lister. Nice. These are lister. These are. This is this is one of my closest yeah. friends, by the way, Johnny ninety nine. We we used to sleep in bed together and play in our first band wait, together. Wait, wait, wait. Back to scissor. We used to scissor. <laughs> ball the ball. Wow. Wall to wall. That's fair, dude. <laughs> I know. You can smother him with that thing. <laughs> that started a tie fighter. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't bang. I, I don't bang my friends. I'm just saying we were young. We were in our first band together. What are, you, are you doing anything musically? Yeah, I'm playing with a guy, Casper and the Bad Spirits. Casper's a great songwriter. He's been hanging out in Hollywood for years. And uh, we've had the fortunate experience of having this uh, female singer named Cassandra Church. She's an actress, model, singer. She's joined us the last couple of shows. We've done some things opening up for Steel Panther at the House of Blues on Sunset. It's good. I think he wants to go in and record so we get some time. I'm actually going to lay some tracks down with him. So be good. Chad played on his first record, and he just wants to update it. Great songwriter, great guy. Oh, he's a great DJ too. So if, if you didn't if you didn't have the the bar restaurant thing going, uh, what what band would you be a replacement in out there? Faster Pussycat? Really? <laughs> no, just joking. Danny's irreplaceable. Yeah, Dan- Danny is irreplaceable, especially this one. God, Until he's dead. <laughs> Which could be made of our <laughs> By the way, where what, right up. what is the na- where did the name Tender come from? Because he's slim. T- it's slim tender. Yeah, I know it's slim. Well, look at it. Yeah. That's where it came he from. He is slim. He's he slim looks fragile. And, and fragile. That's exactly where fragile. it came from. Slim tender is. It speaks for itself. Well, Dom's just slim. That's right. I'm slim, trim, and out of sight, bitch. You are. That's right. He's sexy. He's sexy man. So Johnny, let me ask you. Where does the King of Parma go to unwind when he's here in Ohio? <laughs> I think you know the answer to that. Skyline Chili. Yeah. <laughs> Where else? Uh, Buckeye's Donuts. Where are your uh, favorite uh, gentlemen's clubs? Here 
in uh, the great state of Ohio? There's so many to list. Oh, yeah. Let's start for Cle- let's start in Cleveland. Juicy Lucy's, but I think that Oof. closed shuttered like 15 years ago. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> We've had plenty of good times and plenty of bad times at all the adult establishments. Well, I, will, I will say that the one thing about Juicy Lucy's is I'm going to name one of my signature drinks in my new concept, Juicy Lucy's. Can you, can you make a Death Star drink? Possibly. Oh, can I come up with it? As long as Lucasfilm doesn't sue me. I'll come up with it and you, you tweak it to make it fancy for the bar. Yeah. It's gonna have some kind of tequila in it. I just I thought of a question and I forgot it. Did you tell every Did you tell everyone that you put the Death Star on display and the Monster Energy drink sweet yesterday? No, I didn't. No. All I can say is I worked for Monster back in the day, and uh, you know we have some tricks up our sleeve. And Brett Hamilton, who's the head of Monster Music Marketing, who's also one of my very close friends. He saw the power, the presence of the Death Star. Of the Death Star, and let me tell you, the sweet had not seen anything ever since. The sweet will never be the same. Listen, it was the Death, Death Star. The entire sweet was taken aback. I gotta be smashing honest. pumpkins, really? After the Death Star, that's why half the crowd lost. Smashing pumpkins. By the By the way, you know what? <laughs> I mean, Billy Corgan's head looked like nothing to the Death Star. By the way, Monster's been feeding us all weekend. Like they, they've taken us up into their suite, they've taken us backstage and fed us, which made David Lee K a happy man. And Dom made him have to shoot up his insulin. John, by the way, is the one who named the Death Star. He coined the phrase. It's, it's the most powerful object in the universe. It's got its own gravitational pull. And and John has also very good. Back in the day, John has seen many girls hang their head in shame leaving my bedroom. And come back for more. I have the, the, the here's the, like a rap song. This is one of this is one of the best John stories. Is it okay if I tell a dirty story about you, John? I would hope so. Let's no, let's leave it off the air. It was a long time ago. Yeah, let's not go. Back. Let's not go. John John John's a Mormon now. He doesn't want to talk about that. So where can we find out all the information about um, Saint Felix? You can check it out on Facebook. There's two locations, two pages. We're on Twitter also. It's St. Felix, S-A-I-N-T-F-E-L-X, F-E-L-I-X dot net is our website. You get all the information, check out the menus, check out the galleries. We've had really great parties this past year. Posted Oscar parties. We did the NFL Players Association. And being a big Browns fan, I got to host Trent Richardson, Ray Whedon, Robert Griffith III, who was awesome. I was actually, you know what, he was the nicest guy in the whole bunch. He was that guy's a class act. He's going to be a fucking star for years. He is, and just genuinely cool. Brandon Whedon was great. I hope he has success with the Browns. I also, you know, own another bar in West Hollywood called Foo Bar, where I've been hosting the Cleveland Browns there for, what, eight yeah, years so if now? Anybody's, if anybody's uh, visiting Hollywood, California during NFL season, please come down to Foo Bar. John and I fucking run the Browns Backers Association with an iron fist, and um, we will get you drunk, possibly pregnant. Um, it's a good time. <laughs> so, so, John, if, if, it, if the opportunity arose, would you sell your bars, put on the loincloth, and tour with Man of War? Of course, that's a given. Technically, he's already touring with Man of War. <laughs> Are you, in fact, wearing a loincloth right now? He is, indeed. What about it's more like a furry diaper? Really? I thought I went commando. <laughs> <laughs> a furry diaper. I love I that. I have no shame. <laughs> we're all wearing loincloths. All right. Well, we're gonna well, we're gonna end this because I want to tell you this story. So Johnny ninety nine, Chad Stewart. One more time, Dominic, the Italian stallion and the Hebrew hammer, the Death Star, ready to rumble. Fuck everybody. Goodbye. Peace. You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.